Hey Soul Tribe, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. Today as a pick a card reading, we're going to channel a message from Spirit. This is inspired for the transit of Uranus in retrograde in the sign of Taurus, September 1st all the way to January 30th, 2025. So you know I do like to channel all those cosmic energy, I call it the cosmic dance, uh, with reels, with YouTube shorts. And for this one, if you want to look it up, I'll post here the reel so you can see this energy. So there's a message from Spirit. So we're going to first look at the piles and pick the zodiac sign. You can choose according to your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign. I also like my north node, but you know, that's me. You could also look at your Uranus placement zodiac sign but again you can just simply uh, pick according to your intuition so i'm going to be shuffling and there's a lot of cards in this deck i love it this is the wild unknown archetype okay oh all right well i feel like i thought i was going to put them down but they flew <laughs> So we have three piles, pile one, two, and three. So let's look at those cards. For pile one, we have the storm. Now that's quite a pretty storm though. <laughs> I don't know about you, but okay. Pile number one, pile number two, we have, ooh, the ring. Let's remember, this is going to be a message from spirit. And we have, ooh, Eros. Okay. All right, let's pick the zodiac signs associated to this. Okay. So pile number one. Ooh, this bag is, is, is falling apart. I have to crochet one. <laughs> okay, I get four, I just got four. So we have Gemini. Pile one, we have Taurus, we have Leo. Let me bring this down. And we have Aries. Oops. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's pick the next four. Two. And three and four, that's much faster that way. <laughs> Let's see what we have. We have Libra. Okay, pile two. We have Capricorn. We have Virgo. And we have Cancer. Okay, last four signs. Okay, oops. Yeah, definitely this bag is falling apart. <laughs> And we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, and Sagittarius. All right, so look at what you have in front of you. Take a deep breath and ask, what do I need to know from spirit? This is a message from spirit. All right. I'm going to be shuffling and recording the shuffling for each pile. And then if you want, you can already jump to the reading. I'll see you there. All right, pile number one, let's get your cards. Okay, so let's shuffle for pile number one with the storm energy. And those are the back placement. Let's see what cards we want. Okay, all right, we'll keep it down. down. Okay, this and this. Beautiful energy. All right. Yeah. I'm hearing one more. <laughs> okay, I will. So this is, ooh, this is a Palm Street uh, card. I love them, they were gifted to me. I love them, it's very interesting. It can be something referring to your palm, but you know, 
doesn't have to. And this is the Vikings Oracle where I just took the cards for the runes so that we can work with the runes here. Okay. All right. And we'll use the tarot cards to uh, get some of the clarification that that's going to be the cards for pile number one. All right. Pile number two. Let's get your cards. Okay. So with the ring energy, okay. okay. Well, all right. <laughs> I heard one more. <laughs> okay, all right. Three it is. And the palm tree. I really love this deck. Very original messages, but I really feel them. Okay, all right, and we'll get some runes here with this. All right, perfect. And then for the precision of this message, we'll use the tarot as we're looking at the cards. Okay, so that's all the cards for you. Pile number two. Hi, number three, let's get your cards. This is the Eros card. So let's see what message from Spirit you are receiving at this time. Okay. Okay, I really feel that already here. And the Palm Street Big Deck. See what we have for you, and a rune card. Okay. Oh, you're getting two. All right. We'll see what that means. Perfect. And we'll use the tarot cards uh, for clarification and deepening the message. Okay. So that's your cards for you, pile number three. Pile number one, and let's see what is your message from spirit. So you picked the storm card. I feel like it really matches my shirt. <laughs> um, and if you pick according to zodiac placement, you have Leo, you have Aries, and we'll put them aside, and we have Gemini and Taurus. Okay, so we're going to put this on the side here and look at your message from spirit. Okay, so let's look at the room first. We have Gebo. We'll look at the little booklet for deepening this message. I really like this deck and the little, I think it's it's some type of poem or poetry in the little booklet. I like to read them. You have the teacher energy. If maybe some of you, you might have this X uh, in your palm. Okay, this type of energy in your palm. The middle X in the middle of the palm could be, uh, you know, an expression through Palm Street about being a teacher okay and let's look at those we have welcome when i dream i invite limitless magic into my life and i welcome my spirit guides to show up in wondrous and unexpected ways hmm okay manifest my dreams help me to manifest all that I need. Ooh, I see where this is going. I love it. <laughs> and ask for help. I am willing to receive help from the universe whenever and however it happens. Okay. Um, yeah, I felt like I wanted those cards to match this. Let's see. Love and intimacy flow into my life effortlessly. Oh, this card. Look at all the moon phases. As a tattoo on the spine and being held by the universe. Yeah. 
we are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. I don't I feel like I'm I'm, I'm building something. <laughs> Okay, there's something about building blocks. Okay, and with a steady mind, I am connected to our collective experience. Wow, okay, this is, okay, this is becoming clearer and clearer. Let me gather my thoughts with this. And also, let me get the little booklet so we can talk about this. Gebo energy. I didn't. I got the. <laughs> I got the booklet. But while I'm getting the booklet, I didn't even read it. But I saw the double X, and I was like, "Whoa!" Like, okay. So pile number one. First of all, you know, spirit. I feel that spirit is saying that you've been chosen. You've been chosen, and probably to, you know, bring the light on a certain storm and you feel very much before I even you know tap in everything else you feel very much like a karmic chain breaker yeah there's there's some type of 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 mission here um because of this double x um energy that really feels that you know you've been marked and you've been chosen and you also agreed you know, some of you, if, if that's something you need to hear, it's at a soul level, you knew you had what it takes to face whatever storms could come along the way. Okay, so let's read Gebel. Seek equality in your relationships, especially intimate relationships. Avoid people pleasing and codependence. Family and work harmony is paramount. You will be acknowledged for your fine work and your good deeds. A gift will be matched. Mm -hmm. There is natural justice that runs through life. This will be upheld. Wow. It, I really feel almost that... Uh, you know, with this energy of, I don't know what you call this in English. Oh la la. Oh la la. <laughs> this is when the French <laughs> comes out. I actually don't even know how to say this in French either. Um, okay, but it feels some type of like horn or something that calls, you know, gathers the tribe. Okay. And... This is interesting. Let me read a little uh, further um, poem. It says here, we agree to union, one that is sacred and equal, side by side. A gift is given, circles back in kind. Harmony is won, justice is invited. I am Gebo. Wow. Okay. So you're here. You're here to hear. <laughs> My dear. Oh, dear, dear. Okay. Some of you, if you've been feel, feeling overwhelmed at times with the amount of maybe having to bring balance and harmony around you and in relationships, you could have, and that is a little side note of astrology, you could be someone that has a lot of seventh house placement. You could have a lot of seventh, eighth, um, even six, I would say, but, you know, placement that involve people, even 11 trials, but relationships in particular is seven trials. So some of you, maybe that's a sign for you to look at your seventh house and see what zodiac sign you have and what planet you have. So you can start knowing the dynamic or maybe some of the teachings of your relationships you definitely are meant to first bring this harmony through yourself, okay? It seems that naturally you are, you are plugged in into the collective. You could be someone that is 
hypersensitive, hyper gifted, uh, you know, a strong empath, and maybe processing a lot of the collective energy, a lot of things that you're feeling all the time. Okay. But spirit wants to acknowledge, first of all, um, how great I feel of a job you're doing. Okay. I do feel that, you know, you might not be realizing how much, um, you're processing for yourself or, or you're some, someone that is feels very mindful, mindful of people's feelings, relation, you know, and, and to the point that it's great, but it can't be of your disservice. Okay. So this is where I feel, you know, um, there might be a desire that you're trying to manifest greater, calmer, more harmonious, relationships that feels more like the embrace of, and I was going to say of God, but you know, of source, you know, something that feels divine. Some of you, it could be that you're even looking to manifest this relationship also in a romantic level. Okay. But it doesn't have to be. Um, but what I'm feeling is that the more you deepen your intimate relationship with source and spirit, then you start elevating and going through any storms with more ease, especially with the ask for help. You are someone like, imagine you, you already know that you're a strong empath or you feel a lot or you're very plugged into your environment, how people feel. Maybe you watch the news and you feel the whole, you know, something happened in the news and you carry this along the whole day and you have a hard time processing it. It takes your energy. Now, remember that the same way you can connect to the collective, to what's going on, to humanity, that means your heart and your soul is highly connected also to source. And I feel that spirit is asking you to remember how great of a connection you have with it, how what you might see, feel and seem at times to be a struggle, you know, uh, through all the cycles and all the things that you're feeling, that because you're able to feel so much, you can also just decide to feel your own self and your embrace to source. Some of you, I don't know what vibrated. <laughs> Okay, you might be also very sensitive to vibration. You know, I don't even know. I think maybe it was my phone. I always have my phone on silent. I, I, I need, you know, that type of peace. Maybe that's something that is also for you. Um, maybe you need to uh, set certain times for you to be available if you're someone uh, that responds to your text right away or need to find answer right away when someone asks you a question and you don't prioritize your health, your uh, whatever respect that you, you're doing. This is, this is something that spirit wants to remind you. And it's reminding you that you're teaching others how to treat you through how you treat yourself. Okay. And there's through this whole path of yours that spirit is showing that you know you your sensitivity and your way of maybe standing out I'm feeling also a little bit black sheep energy um, as far as how people perceive you or maybe when you express yourself you know with the horn and the truth or the justice uh, people don't always uh, respond well and how you receive this, you know, might, might create some inner storms. But remember that spirit is often uh, inspiring you, whispering to you some of those truths, some of those things that need to be spoken about, some of those things that need uh, to be expressed. So I do feel that through your own teaching and mastery, of love, of your empathy, of your compassion, of justice, 
you're learning a lot through the collective and through your one-on-one -on -one relationship. This is why I felt maybe 11 files in here, 7 files uh, even here, an eighth house energy. A lot of those placement or planets you could have can create a lot of that intensity, okay? So let's see what else Spirit wants you to know about this. How can we support pile number one if they need support at this time? What can support pile number one to know at this time about their chosen path, about their relationships? What could help bring clarity? Wow, it's just right away. Wow, you, you are definitely here to teach this type of mastery. Look at this. Queen of Swords, um, which, you know, is interesting because people don't often know, but this is associated with Libra, and there's a lot of scales of justice. And you have also the Eight of Pentacles, which is a card of self-mastery. Um, you're definitely here to speak truth, to teach truth, and it might just be also an embodiment, you know, uh, teacher you can there's different ways to teach and I remember I at some point I, I I found some piece of information and knowledge about different ways of teaching and how some people respond better to written knowledge they need to read it some people they respond better to uh, showcasing the knowledge you know putting into uh, actuality or just living the knowledge and some people just you know do better with speaking it so speaking reading or embodying it um, there could be other ways but those are the three that stood out and I feel that whatever is your case is that spirit is saying like continue breaking the chains and I, I, I was going to say silence and I'm going to say it um, maybe some of you you know, it, it's part of what made you feel going through certain storms, maybe some dark nights of the soul, but that's part of your teachings and what you're going to learn as a student from the universe. You're going to be able to teach um, the people that are going to be your tribe, that are going to resonate with the work that you're doing, with the messages that you're sharing that you're embodying um in whatever shape and form there's a lot you know with this this energy that you seem very deep and this is something that spirit wants you to honor as well your depth your depth of connectivity your depth of sensitivity um but make sure that you're turning it to something that supports you let's pull cards for this uh, the first card I want to do um, right away be shown when I was thinking about like what can support you as far as making sure um, that you're not engulfed in the collective, in the relationship, make, creating time and space for yourself, especially when we're breaking chains and karmic wheels here. Um, there's a tug, you know, it's like, I'm sure some of you can relate to this. Uh, there's a it's almost like you're pulling, a, you know, there's a cord and both sides are doing this tug of war. If one lets go and say, I'm not playing this game anymore, the other one's going to feel that there's no more resistance. And when there's no more resistance, it might come back in a different form. Um, and I feel that this is, those are cards that are meant to support you uh, for this type of energy. Okay, look at you. I look at you. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Running. <laughs> running and running and running and running. Okay. Um, keep running and running and running and running and running, running, running. Oh, let's get it started now. Yes. So, yeah, because I, I was like, what is this song? Keep running, running. Okay. There's something here, okay, um, that you're creating when you're deciding to let go of the struggle, let go of fighting maybe with people that 
um, are not ready to hear you. Um, there's an unleashing also of your creativity with the page of wands. I feel that, you know, um, your creativity, your likings, your hobby, you know, the things that inspire you are the things that are going to help you break those chains and, and start. Let's get started to a new cycle. Yeah, there's something about you creating a new cycle for yourself when you're deciding to remove yourself from energies, conflicts that have nothing to do with you. Yeah. You are really, I feel your, you know, connectivity through the senses, you know, it could be your clairvoyance, it could be clairaud, it could be any extra clair. But here spirit is saying, especially when you have such extreme sensitivity and you start losing your own guidance, because it happens, it happens to all of us. So we need, we're actually part of our growth is to find support through one another. So it's also something I want to share with you. It's like when you can't hear yourself anymore and receive this, it's usually that there's two options. One, you could be overwhelmed by things you absorbed, things that have nothing to do with you, things that are, you know, playing in the background of your head, a uh, conversation, you know, oh, I have to send this email. You can't receive it okay so that could be one what i see is that so you have to remove and quiet the mind remove the distraction when i see that the guidance also doesn't seem to flow as well first we need that silence but second it could be that you're receiving some new type of guidance something that is outside the box where you become the student, where you're being taught by spirit. And this is where you need to ask for help or, you know, seek help. And those, that's why I love pick a card readings. Um, and I like to connect them also to the cosmic dance because I see how um, they kind of support some of the activation in someone's chart. Okay, so you could have here, we're talking about Uranus. Uranus is a, a planet that is a master teacher of growth and evolution. And what I'm seeing here is that for you, uh, you, spirit wants you to know that you've been chosen to break those chains, spark your creativity, speak your truth, and work with source. Work with source and you will manifest, you know, a greater self-mastery, on how to, um, you know, use your gift of sensitivity, extra senses, so you can channel more of those truths. What are you meant to channel more? I feel that some of you, there's something, maybe like a missing piece of a puzzle. Can we know, like, what is that piece of information that pile number one might be seeking at this time? Okay, there's a lot here. Okay, we're going to indulge here with this. We have the hanged man. We have the moon. We have the ace of wands. The seven of wands. And the Eight of Swords. You know, I feel that some of you, what could be also a storm, okay, that you might need to hear about, is that when you're feeling inner storm, there's a lot of things that when you start bringing stillness, you had like in moments where you need to bring stillness, it's because your subconscious mind is trying to enlighten you. It's trying to spark some piece of knowledge. It's very important for you to spark the light within and protect your field, protect your aura. Okay. And I feel that 
in this space, you're going to be able to see truly yourself, see truly your potential. You might want to use the mirror exercise. So for example, in relationships, if you're saying, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very sad when this person uh, doesn't respond to me. And you want to take the person out and say, I am really sad when I don't respond to myself. And you're seeing that when you're waiting for people to respond, there's this expectation and waiting energy is actually being reflected to you that you're in that waiting, your higher self, spirit is waiting to communicate with you. It's, and it's, it's creating even more sadness, but it, others are, mirror, are mirrors for you to get those messages. So here I really feel um, that that next piece of the puzzle or that next piece of information when you ever meet storms again or if you are right now is through understanding that this pause is your subconscious wanting to enlighten you about something and what's interesting is this card is strong is I feel that pile number one you're want you're meant to manifest something that very specific that you've been chosen for and all that you're learning through the mirrors of others through your sensitivity to the collective and the chains and storms you had to overcome and break, okay, um, that deepening of this process is part of you manifesting something that is very particular to you, okay, and this is where I'm going to end uh, because that specific chosen gift is something that is particular to you. And by the way, when I said <laughs> chosen gift, you might, it's 2121 on this portion of the video, okay? This is like a, repeti a mirror uh, type of energy, repetition of energy, self-mastery. Um, you might want to look and watch my latest uh, pick a card called uh, What Hidden uh, Gift Do You Have? Like, what are your hidden gifts? Because I talked about this and I felt like, oh, maybe there's a message there. So if you haven't watched it, I'll put it there. That could be supportive at this time. Now, some of you, you know that I like to work with frequencies. I channel and I'm, you know, doing sound engineer. I feel this is the one here. And I like to give you a frequency to support you at this time. We have, oh, that's interesting. The pericardium frequency, allowing generosity and letting go. Mm. If some of you, so the pericardium meridian is uh, a muscle surrounding the heart, okay? So maybe some of you, a lot of things that you're trying to shed as far as heartache or storms that affected your heart, stimulating the line of energy of the muscle that helps the heart expand and retract can help you at this time. This is going to be posted as well. Um, this is connecting to um, my playlist for all the organs. The organs are all connected to the zodiac sign, uh, zodiac placement as well, that's interesting. And it's connected to Sagittarius. So some of you, maybe you have Sagittarius placement, maybe that's something that you have in the 7th, 8th, or 11th house. Again, that's up to you to be curious and to look it up if that interests you. Okay, that's all I have for you, my dear pile number one. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. Remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. And you can always comment if you have any questions or if that's you and that supports you. I always love to read you. Namaste. Hi, pile number two with the ring card let's see what message from spirit you have at this time okay if you chose with your zodiac placements or signs uh we have here virgo cancer libra and capricorn 
Okay, so let's see first your cards and then we'll get some tarot cards to deepen the message and the communication. Hmm, communication with spirit. Okay, all right. We have Hagalas as a rune. We'll read the little booklet. I really like this booklet and it has like some nice poetry about the rune. And we have the passionate one, ooh, with the fire hand. Okay. We have inner alchemy. Connect. Oh, wait, that's so interesting. That's not even from the same, the same deck. How did this card come here? Well, that's meant to be. <laughs> Okay, let me read this. Inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. Okay. We have connect. I create strong emotional connections with the important people in my life. Talk about communication much. Okay. And we have energy. I work with my dreams and my spirit's energy to reach my highest good. Let's see those cards. I am of the earth and in harmony with nature. Mm. I trust the change unfolding in my life. I leave, live each moment with a presence of gratitude. Wow. Okay. It's making so much more sense. Okay. Let me gather a little bit and let's take the booklet. Okay. Number nine. Agalas. It says here. The sting of hardship, the venom, the famine of what you expect or don't want, the hope destroyer, the wrecker of crops, the plague, but this too shall pass. This car says, you are coming to a period of restriction. Be wary not to extend your energies too much. Current difficulties may require major change but this too shall pass. Hardship can be endured. Resilience is necessary. You can learn from the current situation. You are being distracted by drama. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so pile number two. Stick with me. Oh, why did I say that? Stay okay. Pile number two. It's not. It's a general reading, but with everything that we've read and what I'm seeing here, you're definitely going through a phase of change. We saw that communication was a big thing, and with the ring and saying "stick with me," I, I just felt that there might be someone or some type of relationship that you're passionate about some type of project, some type of commitment that you're involved in that might be in the process of shifting. And again, you know, that's one thing that we can always kind of count on with life is change. And what I feel is that spirit wants you to know that you need to calm your fire, you know, with the passionate one. Make sure that you you only fuel the positive things in your life, okay? So you, even through the hardship, don't give it focus. Don't feed it with extra energy. Feed your soul with 
instead of reacting to this change with love, with compassion, especially for yourself. Do the things that you need to do to bring you a sense of safety and security without depending on another. There was something about this. Did I read it wrong or did I imagine it? <laughs> okay. Um, pile number two, I really extend my heart to you. I really feel that, you know, spirit is saying that you've walked and you might be walking through a time of change that might feel confusing at this time. And if you're watching this and you don't relate to this, that might not be your pile, okay? Just um, skip this and just take whatever resonates. But I really want to extend my messages uh, from spirit to the ones that are going through some difficult change. Because what I'm seeing here is that through this there's a light at the end of this tunnel and there's great expectations of what the universe wants to promise you but it does require this type of um shift i do feel that maybe also um with the connect and the communication that came up um your communication with spirit is of the essence at this time whatever expression that is, you know, it could be praying, it could be meditating, it could be writing, there's, there's a way for you to connect to source and, you know, nature, that could be just going to nature, feeling spirit in nature, okay, that's going to support you through whatever you're going through right now that is shape-shifting, it feels, now I'm seeing this grand, like, big star here, okay, in the middle of the ring. That great power lies through this shift. But it might be just a transitional time that you're experiencing, and that might not feel comfortable. Trust it. Now, how can we bring... Can we know more about this shift? Can we know more about this energy shift? Can we know more about this um, energy? Spirit, please guide us. You know, I do feel that some of you, uh, maybe you've been really uh, looking for some of your answers. The fool. You've been looking for a new beginning, a renewal. Maybe you're trying to take a leap of faith on something or you're being asked to take a leap of faith. So this could feel also like, you know, uh, when there's a big change or big event in your life. That could be a, a job loss. That could be a separation. Um, that could be someone you love in your family, a parent that uh, passes. And there is a promise through, you see, there, there's a lot of sacred geometry you know, connecting to cycles, connected to the um, natural cycle of life that I'm feeling for you. You know, that, that is, there's a new beginning that is promised to you through this phase. Okay, how can we support pile number two? There's a different. Okay, so we have here the Ace of Wands. See how she's, there's some type of grief here with the tear. The Ace of Wands covers the season of the summer, um, season of Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. And, and we're in Virgo season as I'm channeling this. So you're coming towards the end. Maybe some of you, you just had a lot going on um, through the summer months, okay? A lot maybe that you had to let go. Maybe some of you, you had to, uh, you experienced a lot of drama in your relationship. Maybe a lot of conflict. Um, definitely being very uh, mindful about where you put your focus because it's energy. It fuels a certain fire. It's going to be, maybe that's part of the message from spirit as far as like a teaching of mastery on how to 
harness your focus on, you know, fo instead of focusing on what is lost and focusing on the new doors that are going to open, even if it's still very, um, I was going to say very unclear, foggy. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Uh, with this energy, you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> it reminds me literally of uh, when I had my Kundalini awakening, spontaneous Kundalini awakening, knew nothing about Kundalini, barely had started to learn about chakras, and I was engaged, I had a house, I had pets, I was planning my life ahead, and I have Kundalini awakening, and I'm receiving very strong guidance that this is not meant for me. I have dreams, uh, like a super confirmation from spirit, and I had to walk away uh, from everything that I thought was going to be my life. Very drastic, uh, not early in age, so <laughs> I, I was 37. Um, quite shocking. But you see here, what I'm seeing is that with the Two of Wands, there's a new experience. There is a new experience that is calling your name. There is a new, there's a new road. There could be, you know, different type of experiences that are um, vibrationally a match to you. And that could be, sometimes, you know, what happens is that we're holding on to certain things and certain plans and how we... Uh, had certain commitments and then we're getting activated because usually there's something in the chart. I've seen it. I looked at my chart when I was activated. I was like, of course that was going to happen, you know? Um, and um, I didn't know about <laughs> this at the time. Um, but you're probably receiving pile number two, certain activation and it could be through Uranus okay that could be the planet that is creating this because that's what we're channeling through this phase that could be also uh, through this time uh, with displacement it might be triggering something in your chart and it is for it's almost like that 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 vibrational chaos is because you're vibrating your vibration is rising your energy is connecting to something different, to something greater that is at a soul level more fulfilling. And it's, it's, it's almost like this was in divine order, a divine plan. And you might not have realized it or see it coming because I could feel that um, a lot of this passion can, can create a lot of uh, confusion and clarity. Um, you know, it, it doesn't feel easy pile number two and I'm glad you're here because you know when we're channeling messages from spirit that not always uh joyful they're also here to support you they're here to to cradle you to offer space for um for this renewal and I think this is something that spirits wants you to hear is that this is time for you to create space for your healing create space also for your rebirth all right, let's see how we can support creating this new space for pile number two. Because when we're letting go, um, this might, yeah, look at this, the five of pentacles. I extend my heart to you, pile number two. Um, you know, with the, the door hole here, the keyhole, I feel that this is always the key reminds me of vibration and the key is there but it's like it's we're looking down and we're not looking at the new door that has many pentacles five which is five is a number of alchemy and change so you're getting a lot of change but what it's saying is that you know there's a new vibe there's a new door that wants to open for you and i'm seeing all this yellow so maybe you had to transcend some ego death here. You had to experience some ego death or simply passing, some type of passing, an end, 
okay? Um, and the universe wants you to know that there is this new door that is waiting for you. There is this new opportunity that is waiting and that can be offered to you. We have the Queen of Swords here uh, that comes up. Um, there's a higher truth. There's a perception of who you truly are uh, that wants to come forward. I have this fly that keeps on buzzing. Okay? I don't know how he got trapped here. But flies. I have a special deck that I love to use. Um, and they're, they're associated to certain you know, conflicts, the buzzing, okay? So I feel as some of you, maybe this, what you're going through is that people are not perceiving you for who you truly are or what you truly try to express, try to communicate, or they're not seeing um, truly how things are affecting you. Whether, you know, and I feel like it brings you a lot of sadness, but there's there's a need for you as a message from spirit to stand in your truth your authentic self is the key is the vibration no one no other pe person's truth can open that door and that door is waiting for you okay it's it's and it it's it's beautiful i can sense it it's beautiful you have the Nine of Swords, and you see here in this card, there's one crow here, okay? There's like spirit that wants out of all the troubles, out of all maybe some of the hardship, spirit wants you to know that it supports you and it sees you, and look at this. Again, you're getting too... Pr some of you, I, I have to mention it. If you experience a miscarriage or a loss, I really, my heart goes to you. And know that spirit has a great and divine plan um, for this soul. You know, I've seen this. And again, if it's not you, I apologize. But I do want to express this for the people that are going through this. I've seen this as someone that connects with people that pass or people that comes um, I've had a very good friend of mine that experienced a stillbirth. And I remember communicating with the spirit and, and feeling that um, the child, at, towards the end, or like the, I'm not going to say last minute, but wanted to be coming into a different form and a different gender. And it, it came back. And... I've seen this even in my own family where there's there's certain things about certain timing or certain alignment to the cosmos and I don't say that this makes it better or easier but just know that usually there's great comfort and great joy and love that still follows even through this type of loss, okay? For the ones that didn't connect with this, okay, because... Again, not everyone is going to experience um, childbirth here. This is your authentic self is going to come from you letting go of some of the drama because it's under the passionate and also some of the hyper focus on maybe the noise that it's creating with the thoughts here. Okay, what else can we share with pile number two to bring them not just comfort, but, you know, uh, maybe a glimpse of what's to come, what's beyond and behind all of this. I feel a lot of healing. My reel for the Uranus um, retrograde is very much about healing, you know. Let's see what we have. Oh, the magician. Again, you're shifting. You're, you're enter, you're, the glimpse of the future is you being in charge of your own alchemy. You being a, able to um, commit to yourself in deeper ways. Commit to self-love. Um, have a connection to source energy that allows you to go through life cycle and life, you know, ups and down, ebbs and flow with much more ease. Wow. 
Whew. That was a lot. I, I, I extend my heart to you again. If that's you, you know, just send me or comment a heart. I will understand, you know. Let's see what we can do in terms of frequency because when I'm channeling all this type of energy, I love to support you and extend not just the guidance, not just the words because there's no amount of words and no right words to express, um, you know, that depth, that type of depth that I'm feeling. So that's why I love frequencies for this. So let's see what we can offer you, pile number two. Oh, I knew this. I love this for you. The aura cleanser and strengthener. This is going to help you. This, you know, this helps bring more of your own inner light. This helps you also clear some of the drama. It also helps you shield from the drama. It helps you also connect more to your potential to alchemize, to shift, to change, and to trust that change. I do want to mention my pharmacy in case, you know, um, I have a vibrational pharmacy where you have uh, anger, frustration, anxiety, you have depression, um, you have a bunch of symptoms and things like that. So I will post uh, this as well, but the aura, a cleanser and strengthener definitely for you, my dear pile number two. I'm sending you so much love and blessings uh, your way uh, through this phase. Um, if that supported you, please remember to like. Many blessings and thank you. Bye. If you chose pile number three with the Eros card. So let's look at this. What are your messages from spirit? What does spirit wants to share with you at this time? Okay, interesting. I said messages for you. <laughs> you might have chosen also your pile according to your zodiac sign, Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay, let's see what spirit wants to share with you at this time. I'm channeling this for Uranus retrograde. There's a lot of healing, heart resonance. So let's see what the universe wants to share. We have the rune Dagas. So you had two runes, my dear one. We'll read those energies. So let's put it here. We have also Urus. Hmm. You have also the card, the realist, an earth point personality. So look, if you have this type of cross of the lines, you know, reveals the personality point reveals your interesting temperament and manner of re relating to others. The four elements designate the psychological region within the universe that you're affiliated with. Ooh. So it says here, drive for security, stability, maybe difficulty adapting to change, grounded, objective thinker, may feel insecure and pessimistic at times. Okay. All right. So there's a lot of energy of change, which I'm not surprised as I'm channeling this energy. All right. Let's see what else. Ooh, that might be, you know what? Okay. I want to say it, but... You know, it's like, it's almost like being at a, a crossroad, being a crucial point. And with the earth element um, of something that is tangible, that is materialized, that's physical. Okay, we'll see how that plays out. We have vulnerability. I allow myself to be vulnerable and honor my inner grace, wisdom, and beauty. Intuition. Through my subconscious, I trust my inner wisdom and intuition. Lessons. 
I look for opportunities in life's challenges via my dreams and I learn the lessons. Okay. Ooh, my inner compass knows the way. Beautiful. I surrender to the power of prayer and devotion. Wow. And healthy boundaries keep me centered and balanced. I like this. This moon here. Mm. I feel like I want to put this here. Wow. Okay. Let's look at the runes first. So number 23 is the first one. Dagas. Know that you are protected. Only positive energy flows your way. Expressing daily gratitude will create profound change. Have hope. Happiness is within your grasp. The time for sorrow is over. Grief is necessary but soon will diminish. Seek balance in all things. The darkness is complete until it is not. The black is no longer black, but blue and then purple, then streaked with pink, orange, yellow, gold, warmth, hope, happiness. All is changed. I am Dagas. Wow. So there's something here. And with arrows, I think, you know, it's very connected to the physicality, the, the earth point here. Um, I would say that even some of you, maybe you were going through a health challenge or going through a physical pain, your body expressing this, or just, you know, uh, we'll see. But it feels very physical. Uh, maybe you had to, um, and that seems to be where the message um, from spirit wants to go, is maybe about your pain um, and things that are shifting at this time. With Uros, let's look at this. Okay, and we have, wow, nice. Build personal power ethically from the inside out. Endurance and resilience are important now. Our will can change our fate. It can forge a path where there is none. Look to your health <laughs> and vitality for these may need healing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so some of you, um, that could be also a message from spirit for your physical health, your healing. It also says, I am the flowing force of life. The focus, the blood pulsing, the oats being sown, the uncontrolled wildness, tenacious and not quite polished. I am Urus. Okay, so pile number three. I feel with the inner compass here that your any type of you're very plugged in through your body to receiving guidances when you open up to the wisdom of your body when you let yourself you know not ignore a hey, I have a headache hey, uh, my eyes are strained or, you know, um, or my back hurts or this or that. When you're paying attention to your daily symptoms and also the good ones, not just the negative ones. Hey, I am healthy. Oh my God, I have so much energy today. Oh, I am, you know, even, I feel it's important for some of you, Listening to your cravings. I get often some clients and, you know, soul tribe members asking me, you know, what type of diet I have. And really my answer comes because I, <laughs> this girl has tried many types of different diets. And when I say tried, it's not like one week, two weeks. It's like six months, you know, six months, a year, trying different ways to uh, have certain ratios of certain nutritional things and ultimately I will tell you intuitive the more you deepen your intuition 
the more you'll know how to fuel and feed yourself because your body will speak to you. Some of you, if you've ever followed a health uh, and a fitness regimen, you'll see that your appetite gets, you see, you tend to eat more good foods because your body is craving full nutrition. It doesn't crave junk food. So I feel that there's um, pile number three for you. Spirit wants you to honor how your body is a compass to you. It wants you to honor uh, its guidance. It wants you also to surrender to it. And what I mean by this is that honoring maybe some of the pace, maybe uh, not trying to force its rhythm. If you're tired, take a power nap. If you have a lot of things to do, just make sure that you master the art of power nap. You know, that's something that I had to do myself. When I left the nine to five, I had different jobs where I was at the time personal training, even doing this. I had different hats, wearing different hats. And sometimes my days were like, like 16, 20 hours. I kid you not. I, I was sometimes working seven days a week. And I had mastered the art of power napping. I would put certain frequencies and I would help my body restore through just within minutes. And it really supported me. I don't know for who that is, uh, maybe especially with the realistic here and the healthy boundaries. I feel that some of you uh, watch how you can overstretch your energy, be realistic. I feel that you could have a lot of you know, uh, drive or desire here because you have a lot of things you might want to manifest with the arrows, you know, uh, things that also I see, uh, just like a diamond, you might be highly multifaceted. You might be wearing many hats. You might be, uh, you know, a mom of children, uh, you know, having this job and uh, building your side a job and, and building a career and, you, you know, being a wife and many things, friends, you know, we know. <laughs> but through this, this phase, spirit wants you to know, like, make sure that you're honoring the lessons of your body. You're honoring its teachings because believe it or not, through the natural rhythm of um, listening to your body, you will find ways to achieve more of those desires. Even sometimes if it has to go with by, uh, by taking a day off, taking some time off, uh, taking a power nap. There, it's almost, it's, you're getting a message on how to be open to the softness and to the, because you have to soften the body to listen to its wisdom. Um, there's a lot of reverence, so not letting the mind control, over control, over rationalize, and let the intuition guide you, my dear pile number three. Let's see what more messages and uh, clarifications we can get for you that can support you at this time. You see, it's very interesting as I'm channeling this for you. I took out my glasses. So I wear glasses and sometimes I also wear contacts. And I realized while I was saying this, like my body was like telling me and I was ignoring it because I was in my flow. Take off your glasses. You don't need that hyper vision because I can see from close. I don't need it. And that was interesting, but that's something that I wanted to share with you because that's the, that's the wisdom. That's the messages. It's, it's, it's telling you, it's teaching you when you need something, when you don't need something, you know, it's being vulnerable, maybe needing a clutch, you know, um, uh, like you might need an aspirin or you might need whatever, but making sure that you're aware of what your body is telling you and not saying like, oh, I'm just going to take an aspirin and you're jumping straight back to maybe uh, what created um, the headache in the first place. You know, because th that could be that you're thinking about many things that could be not exactly what you're doing, but your um, focus being split in many other things 
there's something about boundaries definitely here. Uh, you might want to put your phone on silent or have certain focus mode uh, to make sure, and silent mode, <laughs> especially for you file number three, uh, where you give yourself some space, okay? I feel a lot of desires, uh, but I feel that your manifestation is coming through the wisdom of your body, pile number three. This is really incredible, really incredible. Um, as I'm channeling this, this is also Virgo season, and the reel that I had for Virgo season was about talking to your DNA. Some of you, you might want to review the Virgo season um, a reading that I have. It's a pick a card that could help you. Yeah. All right, what else can we share with pile number three? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Look at this. You're getting the magician, you know, someone that works with the elements, someone that works with source, someone that knows how to alchemize, that knows how to shift energy. And you're getting the king of pentacles. Now, this came reverse. And I like to always see when they come reverse, but I read everything upright. What I mean is that through my words, I shift it, okay? And that's something um, that I want to share with you as far as this reversal. It's saying, um, it's enhancing the message of working with source, all of your desires. Pile number three, you seem to have a lot of things that you want to achieve. It's going to be achieved best if you honor the wisdom of your body. It would tell you when to take a break. It will tell you when to eat, what to eat, okay? And I know you might have a lot of other things going on, commitments, but it will come into shape much sooner and in greater form where you'll be you know, sometimes we manifest things and then, okay, I see this like in, you know, famous people, uh, you know, then they, they're manifesting illness or they're exhausted, adrenal fatigue or any, you don't want to reach your goal, but in a state where you don't appreciate it. So this is what I'm gathering here as a deeper message for you. You want to work with source because all of the things and desires you've claimed, they're coming your way. But the source wants to make sure that you're going to be able to enjoy them fully, okay? And keep your health, okay? I would like to have more details about those boundaries. Why do you have the, the boundaries here? I feel there's something else here about the boundaries. Maybe we get some more details. Maybe we get some more. There it came from. It's very interesting. It came from the bottom, you know? So usually the bottom cards are shadow aspects. Oh, wow. Yeah. Justice. This is about balance. You see? This is about balance. And I feel like when I reversed it, um, this is interesting. When I reversed it, I felt that this, this aspect wanted to talk. This is a shadow. And I feel as some of you, okay, balance is very important. Making sure that you respect your own inner rhythm or for some of you, reconnect to it, okay? But I do feel that your shadow, and in this case, it could have been in the past or currently, your pain, your headaches, your eye strain, you know, like, 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 but those shadow moments, those shadow where the body is in discomfort is actually part of teaching you maybe when to stop, when to take a break, when to do things differently. Wow. You're, I want to, yeah, I want to, I want more messages about this. I want this shadow to speak. Okay. Well, let's let's get that shadow to speak, and that's why I'm keeping it upright. Uh, I mean, reverse, but so you can see the shadow. Here we get more messages from the shadow aspect of pile number three. Let me get some more messages. The four of wands. Yeah. Okay, we mentioned this before. 
this is a card of celebration. This is a card where also with the tambourine, there's a, a call for a certain rhythm. And there's a home, that's their home, that's their, you know, TP or, you know, where they have those celebration, where they gather. It's, it's almost like it's a dance. So here it, the shadow says, it's like, learn how to dance with the waves of, you know, the universe. And that could be, I, I shared this recently, a couple of times recently with clients about honoring, especially, for example, if you're trying to manifest different jobs, okay, or you're in a current job and you're trying to build your own brand, you're trying to get yourself out there, okay, honor the time when one, one gets busier than the other, uh, because, you know, I have phases where I see I can have like 30 clients in a week, and it's sometimes it's just, it's like, wow, there's that many people that need support. And then it's more quiet. And I've learned spirits share with me. It's like, that's the time where I can get more readings out or I can get more organized or I can do more music composition. You see what I mean? And that means that life is trying, your shadow is trying to teach you proper cosmic rhythm. <laughs> and, and, and because you can laugh or I can laugh, but the cosmos runs through you, my dear one. You are a star connected to the many stars. And this energy runs through you. Source runs through you. Source wants you to be wealthy, stable, secure, but also wants you to be able to enjoy all this through proper rhythm through proper alignment to this. Um, I feel like it's part of your, um, what's going to lead you to build all of your desires. Yeah. Can we get more? What are those desires? Ooh. Oh, pile number three. You are all about self-mastery, aren't you? Yeah. And... I would say I've been receiving this a lot. And when I see it, I, 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 I call it forward um, with this type of phase with the moon. You might you want to connect to the phases of the moon. I do the cosmic weather forecast for the dance between the sun and the moon. It helps unveil the third eye. It helps uh, peeling the onion, like I say, you know, as far as the things we need to discover and know, know thyself. This is what I feel for you. Self-mastery through knowing yourself. This is one of your major, major desire. And it comes through manifesting different material things. Okay. So that's what I have for you, pile number three. Let's see if we have a frequency that can support you at this time. Okay. The bottom one. Okay, and that's great because that might be something for um, your shadow because it came from the bottom, just like this card. And it's the long frequency. It's allowing ugh, appreciation and acceptance. So that's part of the 12 organs uh, playlist. That's connected to Aries. So you might want to look at what house or what planets you have in Aries as a little, you know, hint. Um... But that's the long frequency. And see, it's like, it's really about getting to uh, taste life. You, you, a lot of your messages about how to enjoy the process and tasting life, you know, fully, experiencing life fully through working with source. Yeah. Now, I think the boundaries are just from distraction and um, making sure you don't, you know, overwhelm yourself but listen to the wisdom of your body. So that's what I have for you, pile number three. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light, and remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste.